Now, what kind of friend would I be if I didn't put you on? What's up dolls? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I want to share with you 10 Christian YouTubers that you need to be watching, you need to be subscribed to, and you need to support. Now, I did get this video idea from my good sis Tiff with the T. She did a video um, about black YouTubers that you should be following or that you should check out uh, a while ago. She did this video, but that's actually how I discovered her channel. So I was like, wow, this is a great idea. And then I realized like this is actually a thing. And I'm like, wow, okay. Okay, I'm late to the party so let me go ahead and share some of my favorite youtubers now this is not an exhaustive list it's not a cumulative list so don't think that this is just all but I just wanted to highlight 10 to begin with now if you guys want more and you want a second video you could comment down below and let me know um, and then I'll make a second video or I'll share other channels with you or whatnot but in this video like I said I'm highlighting 10 Christian youtubers now they don't all just cover you uh, I mean just cover Christian content they cover a variety of things but they really create their channel on the basis of their faith so that's why I'm labeling them as Christian youtubers because they either have included like faith-based videos like verbatim faith-based biblical videos or they have made it known that they are Christian and so the first six I believe on the list are people that I actually know um, you probably have seen me collab with at some point in time on my channel um, I actually like have conversations with them and all of that good stuff and you know we know each other on a more personal level the last four are bigger youtubers that I've watched for years who I have gleaned from and who are more like spiritual mentors and um, I guess you could say role models for me personally so I'm gonna go ahead and get started also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on business faith and life I do commentary videos videos like Bible studies and I also do videos like on tutorials and how-to videos and things like this so you definitely don't want to miss out also check out the newsletter to get more intricate gems and tips and advice surrounding business faith and life the newsletter goes out on the first and 15th of every month and you don't want to miss that so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the 10 youtubers I gotta look at my notes for this video because I don't want to forget anybody so I do have my phone in my hand if I'm looking down you already know what time it is so the first channel is bond with Christ I know if you've been following me for a while I know you've seen collabs that we've done together um, whether it was just us or in a bigger group of people but Alexa Alexis is a creator of Bond with Christ. She is in seminary school and her testimony as to how she started her YouTube channel is actually very fascinating. If I'm not mistaken and Alexis if you're watching this sis like correct me in the comments if I'm jacking up your whole testimony but honestly like I believe she started doing like makeup videos and things like that because sis be slaying okay her makeup be beat hair be laid edges be intact okay so she never comes on here looking a hot mess like she always got it together even when she's bare faced it's like even if she ain't got on makeup them edges gonna be laid okay <laughs> and I relate like y'all might not get makeup but this hair is gonna be laid even if I got my hair wrapped I'm gonna have these edges laid period you know so <laughs> but I believe she started with makeup videos and stuff like that and then somewhere along the line God convicted her I don't remember if it's when she got saved and gave her life to Christ or if it was just one of those like you know I had a come to Jesus moment and and he just like beckoned me to do this but she has testimony videos on her channel that go into detail about it and she shares like how she pretty much got to where she is now and like I said she is in seminary school so I think that's a plus not that you know if you're not in seminary you can't have a Christian YouTube channel but I just think it's it's nice when you have someone who is like uh, in seminary or a trained pastor or whatever that has a YouTube channel because they have certain skill sets and I believe certain gifts that like me or somebody else that just is doing this because God told us to but we haven't gone through that training doesn't have you know what I'm saying so she definitely understands like certain biblical concepts and certain things that maybe I wouldn't even think to put in my videos and I love the fact that she has a very relatable sense to her like she really feels like your home girl and she's very relatable especially to like my generation and younger and stuff like that and she very much is like how can I put it? She's a no fluff. She's no fluff, no frills. Like you're going to get the word of God and you're going to get it straight. No filter, no chaser, you know? And I like that because she's not just telling you, oh, well, this is my interpretation of it or this is what I feel or this is what God put on my heart. Like, no, she's cracking open the Bible. She's reading the scripture and she's telling you like, this is what this means. This is what God was referring to. 
And this is what Paul was saying, you know, like just straight to the point. And I love that. So if you love that kind of like expository teaching where it's like really in the scripture and it's not like any fluff to the point and you know, you, you love like sermons because she did do sermon series and stuff, then you would like her channel. You know, the next Christian YouTuber is my sis Yasmin Williams Woods. Now I know y'all know that me and Yasmin, we, we tight. Okay. We done done a lot of collabs together we've been on each other's channels a couple of times so if you've been following me or you've been following her you know of each other like of the other person because we have been collaborating for a while now but Yasmin Williams Woods is a motivational speaker she is a wife a mom of four hailing from Alabama but she doesn't live there anymore but you know that's where she's from and she her mission is to help women conquer life with courageous love like me she loves alliteration so you're gonna see a lot of that on her channel and it things that she does because i mean like who doesn't love alliteration i love it don't you but anywho um she does videos to help people basically live their life with bold faith brave hope and courageous love so she wants you to be encouraged when she comes to your videos she has a very motivational way of speaking i mean hence why she's a motivational speaker duh like you know it makes sense but also i the thing that drew me to yasin when i first discovered her at this point probably over two years ago is that she has a very entertaining way of delivering her messages because a lot of times when you come across christian channels it can be kind of stiff or kind of dry just kind of like you know i'm just gonna give you what I gotta say with no like humor, no energy or very little energy. And you know, everybody's different. Some people like that. Some people love something a little bit more lively and vibrant and some people just are indifferent to it. But for me, I think it's refreshing because it's like, I can get the encouragement. I can get the word because she also gives biblical truth. Like she's another one that would like bring up verses in her videos and you know, even in her vlogs. Cause what she does, I like, I love her style of taping. Honestly, I might try to do this myself. Sorry, sis. I. <laughs> I just I love it I'm like this is so great but she like vlogs because she's a talking head channel but she incorporates vlogs within the talking head video so as she's talking you might see clips of her and her daughters or her and her son or family or whatever you know or her like doing something for ministry and she's talking but you get to see like her life in the video as well and so I really love that because you're getting familiarized with her as a woman as a mom as a wife as a motivational speaker as whatever but you're also getting the encouragement and the motivation that you need and the biblical truth. And so, um, but she's very energetic. She's very funny. That's what attracted me to her in the first place. Cause I was like, wow, like you can't help but stop and listen because she just, the minute the video starts, it's like, boom, like here we are. She's very funny. She puts humor in it and it just, it captures your attention. Like you can't go wrong. And honestly, she was the first Christian YouTuber I saw that did that. And it encouraged me to be myself and to put more of my personality in my videos. Because when I first started sharing my faith and biblical things, more overtly I did come across a little stiff I mean those videos are privated now so you're not gonna be able to see it but I did come across a little stiff because I, I wasn't sure like you just feel like you gotta kind of be this boxy person and so when I saw her do it I'm like let me get out this box and stop being stiff and just be myself like who's for me is for me and who's not is not and at the end of the day I don't want to rob myself or the people for me of my full potential by hiding a part of my personality so if you love like humor but biblical truth and family vlogs and all of that you will love Yasmin. She gives actionable messages that really help you out in your life in various ways. So make sure you check her out. So the next Christian YouTube channel is Obedience Podcast that is co-hosted by Ashley and Shantavia, also known as Shay. And I've done collabs with them as well. So again, this is another YouTuber that if you've been following us for any amount of time, you would see us on each other's channels. Now, I love their podcast because they do Bible studies, but they also have very honest conversations about different life topics pertaining to faith you know but they I also love the fact that they do it in series so they don't just like haphazardly come up with topics you know like okay this month this is the theme for this series and this is what we're gonna dive into and they're very strategic about how they do it very organized about how they do it um, and they do a lot of live streams too and I love the live streams because they feature a lot of other creators or pastors or influencers or whatever on their channel to give their perspective on a particular a particular topic so for me I've been on their channel and I've talked about thriving in singleness or being single and satisfied and glorifying Christ and I've talked about um, having peace in 
you know, the Storm. And I think I was on their channel one more time. I think I've been on their channel a total of three times. But either way, you can see, like, they talk about various things, but it always points back to Christ. They're also really good at icebreakers, especially on their live streams. If you ever tune into their live streams, they have really great icebreakers. It's really fun. And it just, like makes things lively you know it almost makes you feel like you're in a bi like a bible study small group from your church you know and everybody's really friendly in the lives like we have a camaraderie so it, it really mimics that and i think i remember shay saying that that she was trying to emulate something like what her grandmother used to do with the her church friends you know when she was younger i don't know if she still does it but you know where they would get together study the word just kind of like really walk through life with each other so they were trying to mimic something like that with the obedience podcast and they are doing an amazing job with that on their channel and they also have an actual podcast on spotify or wherever you stream podcasts now their mission is an acronym that spells out obey and it means to obey the holy spirit believe in his word evolve allowing his word to transform our minds and to yield to the holy spirit and so whatever they do they try to basically encourage us to obey christ using that acronym so that we can apply those principles to our lives so make sure you check out obedience podcast and subscribe to their channel the next youtube channel that i have for you today is wife stuff so francis is the creator of wife stuff she is a wife a mom of five and hails out of texas they have a blended family and she does a variety of content on her channel as well so there's really no one thing that i could say she does more than the other except for maybe vlogs she does do vlogs a little bit more but she also has done talking head videos but whatever she does she makes sure that she is highlighting and representing Christ well and she's encouraging us to pursue Christ and to be a light out there and so I love that she shows a lot of family vlogs I love that she's very transparent about her family and you know her testimony and things like that and where God has brought her today and where she's been and just all of that so she does like cooking videos clean with means um, like I said family vlogs when they go out for drives and and things like that and it's it's just a it's a good channel like it's very encouraging it's very peaceful and she's also really good at photography and videography like she's really been like getting her game stepped up and I'm like okay sis like she was one that encouraged me to step my game up because I had this camera for so long and I'm just like I'm not really utilizing it and I bought it and it was not that cheap so I might as well go ahead and step it up a notch and so she's really good with that and she like I said shares can candid conversations I also have collabed with her and I think that if you enjoy family vlogs or you enjoy like um you know cooking videos or just basically anything I would say lifestyle if I had to narrow it down I would say lifestyle and family you would enjoy her channel and um, she doesn't always explicitly talk about biblical things but like I said no matter what she's doing she's making sure that she's highlighting Christ and you know where she stands and she is always encouraging us to pursue Christ and to be a light in our communities because at the end of the day like that's really what it's about it's about pursuing Christ but it's also about encouraging others and being the salt and the light and so she really encourages us to do that it with every video that she puts out on a daily basis or whatever you know so definitely check out her channel you won't be disappointed next up we have it's kim's life kim is a philly native and she's also the ceo of about god shop that sells t-shirts and caps and various other things so make sure you check that out but on her channel she shows travel and lifestyle vlogs for the most part and in her videos her mission is to help people feel loved and inspired so she's also very transparent about the ups and downs of entrepreneurship especially as a solopreneur and an up-and-coming business she shows you vlogs of her traveling to different cities for photo shoots she shows some family vlogs she really just is like another one that you feel like she's your home girl like i'm just kicking it with my friend i'm watching you know her on vacation or doing her business stuff or whatever and she doesn't shy away from sharing gems about business either um, so definitely make sure you check out her channel I think you will be very entertained and it would definitely show you just the behind the scenes of what it takes to run a t-shirt brand you know everything isn't always rainbows and butterflies and she's another channel that doesn't explicitly just share scripture or anything like that but again like no matter what she does she's letting the love and the light of Christ shine through her and she really just does a great job of doing that and representing Christ even if she's not explicitly saying like 
you know, a sermon or a scripture based message or whatever. So I absolutely love the fact that she incorporates that and that you can see the light of Christ shining through her. So make sure you check out her channel and also check out her website as well. Um, you guys have seen me wear her t-shirt or one of her t-shirts actually. It's that like darkish pink shirt that says about God and it's got like the symbol on the sleeve and on the back it says the light within is greater or something to that effect. Um, every time I wear that t-shirt I get a ton of compliments. So you guys are sitting on this channel. Like I said, check her out. You won't be disappointed and if you're interested in just seeing the behind the scenes of how a solopreneur runs a business and things like that, you will enjoy her content. The next channel that I have is The Divine Bloom. And so Brittany is the creator of The Divine Bloom and her mission is to help people stay rooted in Christ and to grow in Christ. She is a wife, she is a mom, and her channel, the significant part about that is that she gives very short but punchy and encouraging videos related to faith. So she does do some scripture heavy videos where she really dives in and she really breaks down like, you know, a chapter and things like that. She started doing that recently from what I've noticed and that's great for the lengthier videos but um, her thing are really the short and punchy and encouraging videos and that's great if you just need a short video to like help you get through your day or to encourage you um, her channel is great for that so she does topics like how to memorize scripture talking about you know church hurt overcoming Monday blues um, you know how if, if you're feeling far from God how to get back closer to him how to get your prayer life intact like she literally just covers so many different things but they're all encouraging Encouraging, and they're all like a little antidote and dose of inspiration and motivation for your day to keep you going. And so um, if you like short videos, you like encouraging videos, you would love her channel. She is more of a talking head channel. She doesn't do vlogs or anything from what I've noticed, but she does share products from time to time. She has done that. So if you enjoy those kind of videos, then make sure you check out the Divine Bloom and subscribe to her channel. Now the next four YouTube channels are going to be the bigger YouTube channels that are more like my spiritual role models mentors you know people that I've been watching for a little bit of time that have really encouraged me on my walk so the first one is Bishop R.C. Blakes he is a pastor of New Home Ministries based in New Orleans Louisiana and they also have a church in Houston Texas he is a author empowerment teacher a pastor I mean the whole shebang I absolutely love the way he delivers content like he has a very fatherly spirit about him like you just feel like he really is like your father in a way you know the way he delivers the messages is very candid and conversational and so that makes him relevant for like any generation you know because for his generation sometimes people can become out of touch and they just don't know how to reach back and like really speak to the younger generations in a way that transforms their lives and motivates them to do better and to just transform you know and so he's not like that though because of the way he he speaks and delivers his content in a candid and conversational way it really makes you think he is very in tune with the generations behind him and he has a knack for speaking to people regardless of what generation they're in regardless of their background regardless of their ethnicity where they're from whatever like he just has a, a knack for relating to people and i love that i also love the fact that he has two channels so the bishop rc blake's junior channel is like the cyber church that's where they do anything ministry related if you love all ministry strictly faith-based videos that's the channel you want to subscribe to and check out he does Bible studies on there on Sundays I believe if I'm not mistaken I know he definitely does Sunday live streams I just can't remember if Sundays are the Bible studies or if that's like a Wednesday or something but he does do Bible studies and he does do like a live message and stuff like that but if you like videos that are more about relationships and life and conquering you know different things in life like confidence and knowing how to spark uh knowing how to spot I'm sorry someone who is taking advantage of you or whatever like then you want to check out his RC Blake's junior channel so one is Bishop RC Blake's and the other one is just RC Blake's um but either way both are great channels he goes live on both channels it's just one is more ministry um heavy and the other one is more like lifestyle life topics you know um things to help you improve your life and, and just grow as a person and things like that but I absolutely love the way he delivers the messages and he's funny too like the way he says things because he says it with a straight face it makes it that much funnier but he be speaking okay he he definitely speaks facts and he definitely makes sure that he keeps it real with us he doesn't give fluff you know, he speaks on things that I also think a lot of people in this generation wouldn't necessarily speak on. So if any of that interests you, definitely check him out. I've been watching him for probably about 
five years at this point and he really has helped me a ton in so many different areas i can't wait to go to new orleans or houston and check out new home ministries because i already know like it's it's like that like i know the services be great so definitely check him out and subscribe to his channel Next up, we have Isaac Deshaun Curry, and I discovered him probably earlier this year, I think. If it wasn't earlier this year, it was the end of last year, but either way, he is a speaker, a teacher, a pastor, a thought provoker. I mean, the way that he delivers messages really gets you thinking. Like, he just has a way of taking a text and in the Bible that you might have seen a million times, and he just brings a fresh fire to it, a fresh perspective, where it's like, I've been reading this scripture my whole life and I never thought of it like this, but the way he says it, it's like, wow, like you really are taking it to that level. Like you just, it, it's crazy. Like he be moving in the spirit. Let me just say that like definitely anointed, definitely gifted. Um, he hosts events on his channel. So he gives like sermonic type messages, definitely a talking head channel he gives, but I do believe he does have some vlog like videos. I just don't think he has many if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me, but he definitely gives sermon type videos, talking head channel type videos. And then he does live streams as well. And he hosts events. So in October when I was hosting to my fast he hosted a fast and i took part in that as well and it was very enlightening he went live like every day or every other day during the fast and you know he did live prayer and he does those kind of things so that way it like builds community and it feels like a family you know you're building camaraderie him and his wife also started a ministry called relationships without walls to help christ followers do relationships better and he does ministry a lot with his wife you'll see her in the live streams or like i said if you follow their ministry relationships without walls you'll see her um he he really his intent is really to help people like grow in their purpose and grow in christ at the same time so you know even though his messages might be like wow like you really said that he really is aiming to help you just bring your purpose to life and to honor christ um through it all so definitely check him out because i'm telling you like i actually found out about him through redefine tv which is my last person on this list but yeah like when the first time i saw him i was like oh okay yeah like i gotta follow his content because he said that you know like that was nothing but the holy spirit so definitely check him out isaac deshaun curry so I got two more YouTubers for you and then we are done. So the ninth person is Angel Ann Light. So Angel Ann Light is another one that has a variety channel. She is a wife. I believe she's based out of Connecticut or Massachusetts. One of the two, but either way, she does all sorts of videos. So she does makeup videos. She does chit chat. She does story time. She does um, like scriptural based videos, you know, encouragement in the faith, just all sorts of stuff. So she really is like your internet friend, your internet home girl that's cheering you on and uplifting you as you pursue purpose, as you grow in Christ, as you just achieve all that God has for you. And so I first discovered her channel because her video about how she met her husband, started dating and got married, I think all within a year, went viral. And so she came up on my explore page on, or my homepage on YouTube. And so I clicked it cause I was like, wow, like that's interesting. And I watched the video and her story was very powerful. And within that, I also found out that she is half Guyanese and both of my parents are from Guyana. So I was like, oh, gotta support, you know, cause you don't see a lot of Guyanese creators. I mean, maybe there are more, but people that are blatantly like I'm from Guyana or I have Guyanese heritage, you just don't see it very often. So whenever I see that, I support anybody from the Caribbean really, but you know, yeah, particularly Guyana. So when I found that out and her husband is also half Guyanese, I was like, yeah, I'm supporting period. But her story was very transformative and life-changing. And she spoke about how she journeyed journaled to her husband like she created um and she sells these actually husband journals but it's like she was writing to him every day for a period of time before she actually got married and then she gave the journal to him on their wedding day so that he can read and kind of see like the process that she went through um you know on her way and like the growth and journey she went through on her way to the the altar with him and so i thought that that was really great she actually encouraged me to start doing the same i'm not gonna lie i've been slacking on it but she did encourage me to do the same and she also was the person that i found out found out about kislev from so those of you who may have been following me for a while you know that i talked about the month of kislev which is part of the biblical calendar the biblical hebrew calendar at that and um it's just a month that starts in mid to late november i mean early to mid november and goes from early to mid december and it's about rest and hope and trust in god and so every month god basically designed something in the biblical calendar for us to focus in on on that month and so 
so when she shared about kids love it was during this testimony video when she was talking about her husband and her meeting and getting married and all that and i was like wow that's really interesting so because of her i started looking into it and she like piqued my interest to really dive more into the biblical calendar and to try to align my life with it as best as possible and so um definitely check out that video i'll link like everybody else her channel down below and i'll probably link that specific video so you can check it out but like i said she does uh, sell the husband journal she also sells like i believe natural skin and hair products don't quote me i know she has a shop where she sells other things but you can check all of that out and her videos are a variety so if you like variety channels you like people that kind of do a little bit of everything she does vlogs and stuff too you'll like her channel so make sure you check her out angel and light and the last channel that i have for you today is redefine tv pastor jerry flowers and his wife tanisha they create videos to help people redefine relationships righteously so their whole mission is for us to redefine our relationships righteously and honor Christ through our relationships not just romantic relationships but relationships period our relationship with God our relationship with our peers and other people and our relationships with you know our spouses or romantic partners or what have you and the relationships with people that we might be mentoring just any relationship you have they want us to live righteously and do relationships righteously so I've been following them since they started making videos I believe back in 2014 I remember when they first started and back then they really were trailblazers because at that point nobody was really doing videos like how they do it you know talking head videos helping you like in your faith walk in a candid way because just like rc blakes they have a very conversational candid way of delivering their content they definitely um i would say their main audience is probably people in my generation i'm a millennial in case you don't know but people in the gen y millennial generation and younger they have a very like modern um relatable way of sharing the content and they speak on things that other people might not speak on so they speak on you know when you're struggling with abstinence and you give in to horniness you know they they speak on um you know knowing if someone is god sent like the science to tell they speak on you know what it's going to look like when you stand up for christ in a day-to-day -day world you know they do different series too so one of their most popular series that was last year if not earlier this year as well was a try me series and it was basically like you know god saying try me try me with this try me with that like try faith try reconciliation try i'm just throwing stuff out there but that's what it was it was really good really life-changing they also have series like the heart rehab that they've done this year just a whole bunch of different stuff. Cuffing Season was a series they did and it was all about, you know, honoring Christ through Cuffing Season, which can be tough, okay? Being single is very rough sometimes. And so they're they're really fresh. They're very relatable. They do skits um, in their sermons. They always give like examples and use props and stuff. And they are very candid, like I said. So they are pastors of Time of Celebration Church in Houston, Texas. That's another church I would love to visit if I'm ever in Houston. Houston got a lot of churches that I want to visit. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I got to make a trip to Houston. It's It's been a long time coming but um <laughs> they do um they they do pass that church and you know like i said they're very candid in their delivery and they have really just been trailblazers you know i like i said they're the first of their kind that i can think of that started back in that 2013 2014 era that started doing this now it's more common but they really have carved out a space for themselves and their ministry in the online space and so i absolutely love them they have helped me tremendously like i said i followed them from the beginning i remember when their daughter was like just born you know so and i've just seen their family and their ministry grow over the years and god has been good they are also filled with the holy spirit so you can just tell like they're one of those channels that every time I watch it's like how do you know I'm going through that like I swear every time I open their channel there are videos pertaining to something that I'm going through or just went through and I'm like okay that's nothing but God you know and like I said I also found Isaac Curry through them so recently they've been bringing other people onto their channel to do like sermon videos and stuff so I found Isaac Curry through them Darius Daniels I found through them and there's like a handful of other people that I had no idea about that they went on Redefine TV and I found out about them and i was like wow like i love the way they they speak i love the way they preach and they teach so let me go check out their content so if you like talking head videos you like sermons because a lot of the time they are going live um at the actual church service and stuff like that so if you like sermons you like pastoring and all of that 
you will love Redefine TV. And if you love talking about relationships of any kind, you will love them. So make sure you check them out and their links are down below as well. So those are all the Christian YouTube channels that I have for you. Like I said, those are the 10 channels. The first six are people I know personally. The last four are like spiritual mentors and role models for me. Check them all out, subscribe to their channels. It's free to show love, it's free to subscribe. You know, support their content for the glory of God and for whatever they're trying to do. And um, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well so that you don't miss future videos. Comment down below and let me know who are some more of your favorite Christian YouTube channels. Did I miss anybody? I might know some others that you know. And let me know if you wanna see a part two as well. So I will see you guys on the next video. Talk to you later, bye.